Hey, it's Jamie Pearson, and welcome to Jamie P Nation. Thanks for tuning in. It's nice to see everyone today. Well, summer's upon us. With the unofficial summer opening of uh, Memorial Day, I started thinking about Los Angeles and summer and uh, thought uh, I should talk about some of the great things that Los Angeles has to do in the summer. One of the things that really caught my attention was on Memorial Day, the Los Angeles River opened, officially opened, for hiking, kayaking, and fishing. Now, for those of you that didn't know we had a river, yes, we do. That's that concrete thing that runs through the middle of town, from the San Fernando Valley all the way past Dodger Stadium and down to the ocean. It is now open, and you can do some hiking around there, kayaking, and fishing. Now, fishing, I thought, was kind of interesting. Like, what do you catch in the L.A. River? And in my part of town, it's just that little channel that's in the middle of that concrete. So I did a little research for you. So currently in the river, you catch carp, largemouth bass, bluegill, which uh, I've caught many times. There's black and brown bullheads. Now, I don't know what those look like, but they sound like they look like a, a bull. Maybe they have horns. And then there's tilapia. All right, so you can actually fish and catch dinner in the LA River. Now, I'm not recommending that you eat it, okay? But I am recommending that, that sounds kind of interesting to go fishing in the LA River. I also understand that because you can fish in it, there are fly fishing groups that are, that are springing up all along the LA River. And if you're a fly fisherman, I understand that carp are the best ones to battle. Go out there, fly fish, join a group, get involved. Come on, that's what the nation's about. Be a part of the nation. I also realized that there are no native fish um, that have survived the channelization of the LA River. You may be asking like I did, well, what used to be in the river? And it was rainbow trout and uh, salmon. The last rainbow trout was caught in 1940. So they haven't been around in a while. Now, the best fishing spot in the L.A. River is north of Atwater Park. So if you, if you want to get out there, you got to get out there early. The park is open or the river is open from sunrise to sunset. So if you want to get out there at 5 in the morning and get your line in the water um, and go to that best fishing spot, that's the time to do it. So let's talk a little bit about kayaking, which is probably what I would do in the river. Now, there's two sections of the river that you can kayak in. There is the Elysian Park section, which is where you can also fish. And then there's the Sepulveda Dam section at Woodley that you can put your kayak in the water there. When you kayak that part of the river, you're going through the bird sanctuary section, and so you can't get off on shore. But I think that would be a really nice, enjoyable kayaking. Um, see a, a lot of the native birds. We spent all this money making this sanctuary there. It'd be great to see some of them. They do offer L.A. River kayaking tours, and you can go to LARiverKayakSafari.org, and you can sign up for a kayaking tour, and they'll take you down the most scenic parts. They provide kayaks, of course, um, and paddles, and uh, take you on a little guided tour of the L.A. River. I, I think this is a, a great idea. I know that um, along the L.A. River, we're spending a lot of money making great paths and making it more scenic, uh, this is a huge part of our history in Los Angeles, and I, th I think it's a great thing for you to add to things to do during the summer. And, of course, you found it here at Jamie P. Nation. I hope you like that little bit of trivia. If you have any comments, always want to hear your comments. Um, thank you for watching and uh, visiting the nation, and we hope to talk to you soon. Have a great day.